She's completed her fellow program in management from XIM Bhubaneswar. Uh, she has more than seven years of experience, of which six years have been in the IT industry, and she's an entrepreneur in her sense and has started her own company. Uh, her research areas have, are in the area of technological innovation management and enterprise systems uh, implementation. Uh, she takes courses on uh, ERP and uh, the first year compulsory course, IT for Business. Thank you, Madhavi. <laughs> Professor Mohan Kumar is a very senior faculty in the IT area. Uh, he's retired and now he's an adjunct faculty. Uh, he has um, more than 26 years of experience of his last 15 years have been with TAPME. Uh, he holds a master's in computer information control engineering from University of Michigan. And his uh, research areas are in the area of application of IT in business and government and transforming education through ICT. Uh, he, take, he will be taking you all the first year IT course, IT for business. So thank you, Mohan. Uh, professor Ram Kumar Durkari, <laughs> Assistant Professor, has completed his BSc Maths and MCA and currently in the final stages of his fellow program in management from IIM Koikkur. He has uh, four years of academic experience prior to joining TAPME and has worked with um, uh, in, in Indore as well as in IIM Ahmedabad as an academic associate. So that's his background and he will also take you on the first year course and since he's recently joined, uh, he will probably also, you know, we'll look, explore opening up new uh, electives in the next year. Okay, thank you so much, Ram. Uh, we have Professor Vinit. He is uh, not here. Vinit Thakur. He is also he's an adjunct faculty, also a very senior person, senior member with uh, TAPME. Uh, he has, um, uh, he's currently teaching second year uh, materials management course, so that's why he's not with us uh, right at the moment. He's done his Master of Science from University of Mumbai. He has over 25 years of industry experience and has worked with some of the leading companies like 3M, SAP, GE, Ernst & Young, IBM, and LNT to name a few. Uh, he's also associated with several other academic institutions, not only in India, but has also had teaching engagements with uh, uh, colleges in Dubai, Germany, Thailand, and Indonesia, and also does a lot of corporate training. So, uh, uh, he will be taking you through a lot of uh, uh, some of the courses both in IT as well as operations area. And uh, last is uh, myself, uh, Kedar Ishwan Subramanian. I am um, an assistant professor. I have about uh, 13 years of uh, experience of which the last eight years have been in academics and prior to that I was in the industry. Uh, I have also done uh, my engineering computers and uh, have done my PG DBA from Wellinkers in finance. And uh, my area of research is around um, virtual communities and uh, online communities uh, and knowledge sharing in those kind of contexts. I teach uh, courses in ERP and uh, currently I'm teaching a course in second year called Business Analytics with Vineet. And uh, I wish you, um, uh, I give you a hearty welcome and all the best from our area. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. I now request Professor Vidya Pratap to please introduce the general management area. Good afternoon, everybody. I, as area chair, I would, it's my proud privilege to call my colleagues. Can I have Professor Vasudev Rao, Professor Sudeep Kumar, Professor Aparna Bhatt, and Professor Vasan Kumar. While the finance chair said that the finance department was the most exciting one and the marketing chair said that they had the m most exciting guys, I would say we communicate. So we have with us people who, who handle courses in project management as well as insurance and as well as communication. It's my honor and privilege to introduce Professor Vasudev Rao, a very, very senior member of the TAPME family. He is now an adjunct faculty. He is a graduate in mechanical engineering from KREC, which is now NITK, and a postgraduate in management from XLRI Jamshedpur. He obtained his PhD in management from Karnataka University at a very senior age. When were you? 
He was 62 when he got his postal degree. He has over 46 years of experience in industry, consulting and academics. Prior to joining TAPME, he worked in Tata Steel in design and projects, TechSoc, which is the technical consultancy services organization of Karnataka in Bangalore, as deputy chief advisor and at KREC STEP, a science and technology entrepreneur's park as director. He has extended training and consultancy for feasibility studies, business plans, implementation, to a number of small and medium scale enterprises. At TAPME, he teaches courses on entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial strategy and new venture creation, project management, and small business management. He was previously involved in the new campus project planning and execution as former dean administration. He was also the director of TAPME in charge for a few, a couple of years. Thank you, sir. May I introduce Professor S. Sudeep Kumar? He joined TAPME in April 2008 after completion of MBA from Cochin University of Science and Technology and a short two-year stint as marketing officer in the state, in the state-owned dairy industry in the cooperative sector in Kerala. He had a long tenure spanning 21 years with the third largest general insurer in the country. Natural, uh, National Insurance Company Limited. He was teaching at the Birla Institute of Management Technology, Greater Noida, prior to joining TAPME. He was one of the outstanding branch, branch managers felicitated by National Insurance Company Limited at the All India Marketing Meet at Suraj Kunj in the year 1995. His areas of interest include risk management and insurance, liability insurance, loss minimization and control. He has handled administrative responsibilities as chairperson admissions and as chairperson MIP at TAPME. He has co-authored the case, a logistics conundrum, which was presented at ISB Hyderabad in December 2012. Thanks, Professor Sudeep. Professor Aparna, Aparna, Aparna Bhatt joined TAPME in 2012 with MA, MPhil in English, Linguistics and Literature, as well as postgraduate diploma in Personal Management and Industrial Relations. She has 20 years of teaching experience. A City and Guides, uh, a City and Guilds London certified soft skills trainer, she has conducted workshops for students, corporate and teachers at various levels. She has presented research papers in the communication skills area in national and international conferences. She, has also has, she also has book chapters and publications in the communication skills and education areas to her credit. She will be handling uh, commu managerial communication for you all in the first term and in the third term. Thanks, Aparna. <laughs> Professor Vasant Kamath has joined TAPME recently. He's a faculty in the area of general management and entrepreneurship. He, is, he has a BE degree in mechanical and an MTech in manufacturing engineering and an MBA HR and is currently pursuing his PhD in the area of system dynamics. He has six years of teaching experience as an assistant professor in the Department of Humanities and Management, MIT Manipal. Also, he worked as manager at Manipal University Technology Business Incubator where he was associated with mentoring student startups as an additional responsibility. Before joining MIT Manipal, he worked as a manager in the maintenance project planning department at Reliance Industries, Mumbai. His area of teaching includes project management and entrepreneurial management. There are other fact, th thank you, uh, Professor Vasan Kamath. There are other faculty from other areas who, who handle uh, subjects in the general management area. We have uh, Professor Chaudhary Prasad, uh, Professor Rajesh Raja, and Professor Kunal, who teach courses in this area. Come again? Ah, yes, of course. Yes, uh, um, other, my other colleagues are all, always there for, to help us whenever we have any crisis or any, always there. Thanks, thanks very much. Um, lastly, 
uh, I'm Vidya Pratap, and uh, this is my 24th year, 25th year of uh, in the area of academics. Um, I joined, I joined TAPME in 2002. Uh, in between, I was in Manipal University for uh, almost five years. Uh, I hold a master's degree in psychology and another master's degree from the University of London in organizational behavior and a PhD from Manipal University. My pet uh, interests lie in uh, managing waste and reducing waste. So I've started working on implementing these projects in our institute. So shortly, I will be seeking your help and cooperation in minimizing paper waste, water, solid waste, and food waste. Looking forward to working with all of you all. Thanks very much. Thank you, Professor. Finally, we have an introduction to the HCM area by Professor Shivkumar. See, leaner is better for health, so I am the only person in the healthcare area. Uh, Professor Shivakumar actually is the coordinator for healthcare area, but uh, we all teach in healthcare area, and Manipal being a hub of healthcare, we draw a lot of expertise from Manipal University and the medical college here. Okay, I just wanted to clarify on that fact. Moving on, we have an introduction to the PGDM and the PGDM healthcare programs by Professor Gurraj Kidur. Uh, more of the details on the, the program, you know, the subjects, the credits, mainly to do with academics which may not interest you much. And the third problem, which is the biggest problem is I am standing between you and lunch. So let me try to rush through this. Uh, most of the content that you see here on the slides will be available to you in the hard copy in the PGP handbook that you will get soon. Have they got it already? You will get it tomorrow, okay? Ah, if it is there, yes. So the, I'm going to speak about uh, PGDM at TAPME. So we offer three postgraduate diplomas. One is the general management, postgraduate diploma in management, just called the PGDM. The other one is postgraduate in healthcare management, PGDM HC, and the third one, postgraduate diploma in management, BKFS, which we have launched this year. And the students of that this batch will be joining on August 1st. They are not here. Many of your colleagues would have uh, joined other institutions which give MBA, right? Correct? So we give PGDM. PGDMs are typically given by autonomous institutions, whereas MBAs are from university departments or universities. Uh, the PGDM came into existence in India uh, when the first IIM, IIM Kolkata, uh, it was decided, when it was being set up, it was decided that it will not be under any university, it will be an autonomous institute. And then I think the understanding was these master's degrees can be given only by universities and not autonomous institutes. That is why they adopted this. programs are typically given PGDM all and all autonomous but you must keep one thing in mind all PGDMs are not considered as equivalent to MBA there are a set of PGDMs who which are considered as equivalent to a postgraduate degree and TAPME counts one amongst them. So our, our PGDM is considered equivalent to a master's degree. And this recognition comes from Association of Indian Universities, AIU. So TAPME, we are a 34 year old company. Uh, sorry, uh, I quit industry 15 years ago, but still, you know, uh, 34 year old institute. We are an AICT approved institute. Our MBA has equivalence, MBA equivalence by AIU, and we are, as you are aware, ASCSB accredited. Do you know what 
this stands for aacsp okay it will be explained tomorrow by professor shiva kumar uh, implications of autonomy end to end management by course faculty that means okay let me tell you uh, in your engineering you would call a subject as a subject or a paper right here we call it as a course a course is a subject marketing management which you going to study in in first year is a is a course for us okay we call subjects as courses so each course is conceptualized designed delivered evaluated by the course faculty so as far as you are concerned the course faculty is everything for you he is a judge dread okay now the advantages of this autonomy is we keep regularly updating our courses the content of our courses you would see that majority of the courses there will be at least some 10 15% change every year for a majority of the courses this is one advantage that brings you the latest in management we also have the liberty of having a hybrid pedagogy so you will see a mix of lectures cases simulation games projects so there will be a course which is predominantly case oriented out of 24 sessions you would be doing 20 cases and there is a course in second year marketing strategy with which, which which is done entirely through a simulation game and in second year strategy we have a compulsory course which is again through a simulation game there could be a smaller simulation game as a module within the course a faculty could give you a project wherein you go work in some company locally and then you know that is evaluated uh and fair evaluation why i am saying the evaluation is fair is you always have the opportunity to go back to the faculty and discuss with the faculty member about the evaluation if you feel that yes i have not been graded properly you have the faculty right there you can go and ask the faculty why is it that you have given me only 10 marks for this and we also have a practice here that your end term answer sheets and mid term answer sheets are made available to you for 2 to 3 days after the results are over so that you can see your paper and then go back to faculty in case you have any queries